far in the bottom left, or now I guess it might be in the bottom right, uh, top three will be getting paid out. We don't get the production, the casters, we don't get a cent of it. But if you're interested in supporting House of 3000, make sure to drop those follows and perhaps drop those Twitch Primes because we're going to keep getting games like this. A couple of swingers, a couple of the, uh, the consistent players in a bracket like this. It is Jonathan G and Sonic Fiend. Uh, no strangers to top eight. And these will be from, uh, a, this will be a top eight qualifier. So we'll have to see how they do. Uh, Jonathan been entering as, ooh, been entering as wow. an Aegis the past couple of day, uh, past couple of Xenos, but this is just all Rob all the time. And the ledge traps are certainly an example of it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Jonathan was just going off for a little bit there. They were really just, you know, just, just swinging. And we definitely love for both of them. I also love this stage choice because you don't really see too many people going to FD game one. Especially since I didn't even see FD too much of myself. I mean, definitely just love, you know, FD. Even though for me, FD isn't probably one of the best stages. Definitely just love seeing it because it's probably one of the best stages where you can definitely um, show how bad of a disadvantage somebody can have and we're definitely going to be seeing a lot of that coming in from sonic fiend just getting utterly mopped by this rob wow Ooh, okay yeah solid solid chase down on sonic fiend's part i mean normally you think sonic is just like purely at home on a stage like uh, on a stage like FD, but after losing the lead like this and having to deal with Top to con uh, or Gyro, excuse me, to constantly interrupt Spin Dash and, and Rob's abundance of kill power, like then you then you start to realize that hey maybe maybe the lack of platforms ends up helping out the robot more so than the the much quicker Sonic. And just. Absolutely calling out that up smash. That's so not up smash, but um, spin dash. Very crazy, but very nice read coming in from Jonathan. G. But um, definitely gonna need to see a little bit more of a different kind of approach to Sonic. King, you know, definitely just doing what Sonic loves to do. Just go and spin, go and cyclone, all just kind of crazy, trying to make sure that they can kind of um, try and just psych out the opponent by going for a lot of these spin dashes and kind of mixing up and whatnot but definitely need to take a little bit more of a different approach especially since this is a zoner we are dealing with and wow that could have spelt a very horrible time for both of these um characters here now but just you know doing rob does best and that was so good they actually um faked or not faked out they went for a nair and uh, since it didn't have much lag they did turn around down so and actually just went for that kill that was actually super good. this took so long to develop like this entire play he's using up all of his gas but landing there has basically no lag and sonic fiend he was already like it looked like jonathan saw what Sonic Fiend was going for is like, yeah, I don't have to, like, I don't have to worry about uh, any of any of these quick Sonic options that are his quick tilts because he's not going for them. He was looking for F Smash constantly in that in the final moments of that game, and Rob's insane down tilt will always beat that out. I mean, honestly, we definitely need to see a little bit more of a different approach from Sonic Fiend here because, you know. This is probably going to spell a little bit of a bad time if they don't just be very careful about how they approach this matchup because if they keep on, you know, kind of getting hit by too many things, like just from Rob in general, then they're probably just going to end up losing most of their advantage and even their stocks and just, you know, kind of spend the time trying to make up whatever um, deficit is between them. I mean, he's in a rough spot at the moment, but as a, I mean, being on ledge against Rob is generally considered a, a pretty rough spot. But Town offers a little bit more than it does than FD did in a situation such as this. Like you have, you still have the room to run, but you have added platforms for more mix-ups and more places to try and land, as we see right there. Just and like if I'm concerned about trying to get back to stage, I can hop over to one of these platforms. So the trick will always and inevitably be, how do you gain your lead? Sonic is great when he has one, but he needs to find and actually take advantage 
of <laughs> of uh, opponent's mistakes in these first stocks in order to hold that lead. It's, it's absolutely good. now. Oh, oh sorry. No, but no, yeah, no, definitely ahead, for ahead. sure. Um, just coming from you know an experience of you know, there's definitely a few characters who definitely kind of struggle with this game because it, it, it feels like most of the time they need to feel like they play they have to play a certain way in order to actually do anything so in this case you know most sonic players kind of just feel like they have to actually um you know camp in order to actually do anything but definitely um taking that first dog and definitely wanting to see you know how sonic actually or sonic King actually does with this lead only because you know he can actually be that one, you know, Sonic player that actually does things different. He doesn't actually need to always camp in order to, you know, always win a specific game and whatnot. That's gonna close it out. Yeah, even in the high blast zones. Yeah, that's gonna that is gonna do a couple burner boosts to to you stave off the the invincibility. And I guess Jonathan is getting right to work, almost catching the jump with an air, but Sonic Bean meets him in the air and is. Still holding on to a very oh man, it, it, that that lead is very very much disappearing. And Jonathan, it could be even looking for a stock. He's facing backwards. These back airs are going to be coming out soon. But the down tilt looks like he was waiting for an air dodge that never came. Wow, that's just entirely crazy. You definitely saw that. Um, you know, Sonic Queen wanted to definitely get something there, and they almost had the chance, but just barely missing it. I think due to the gyro. But um, very even coming in here, this is very much a different game from last time. But as I say that, we are going to see um, Jonathan G actually take that stock. So um, definitely to be very careful here before they actually, um, you know, lose any semblance of a very even game from Sonic Fiend's part. Um, definitely need to be very careful. Yeah, this is going to be... It's going to be Discipline Incarnate, but Rob can really make you uh, start to stress start to stress a little bit once he once he finds those down tilts as it was looking like salvage from a game that was looking salvageable is now seeming to slip out of Sonic's gloved fingers. Uh, yeah, these down tilts are so like they're so hard. They're so many and just the frequency of these pokes and it was only a matter of time before uh, Sonic Fiend 2 would oftentimes commit to the initial dash as he starts to dash dance around uh, would get would get clipped and one trip is all he needs these jumps oh he didn't do anything he was picking up gyro oh oh that's so yeah. sad but yeah that's uh definitely just you know something to look out for I guess next time um just being very careful about how they actually play up in this matchup you know because they did have the lead so Getting that first stock was probably one of the best things for them, but they weren't actually able to make anything off of that first stock as well. Just um, losing that first stock to um, Gyro as well. Um, but for sure, just some um, things to look out for, actually just being, you know, like a little bit more cognizant of all of the things that they actually need to work on. Um, that, that second kill right there was actually probably one of the weirdest kills for him because I didn't actually think, oh, never mind. I, I, I thought at first that the the fair wasn't close enough to actually reach, you know, that down smash, but yeah, for sure. I almost expected, you know, like Gyro to actually have a little bit of a play into why that actually hit, but yeah. Sonic's 